We live in a world where new big game releases are finally hitting $70, but we also live in a world where no one needs to buy a video game ever again. Between free-to-play gaming, indie gaming, and game subscription services, you can play for the foreseeable future and not buy a single game. It's a great place to be, it probably won't last, and now's the time to take advantage of it. Thankfully, the VCS has cloud gaming quite well covered, and Xbox cloud gaming is arguably the best of all of them. I find console wars dumb. I don't care if you're team Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo. That said, I've been over in PlayStation land since the late 1990s, when I picked up my first PS1, then 2, 3, PSP, Vita, 4, and now 5. I bring it up because I've never owned an Xbox product. I thought their recent gamer fridges were cool, but I've never wanted one of their consoles. I've been happy with Sony, and I've been building my digital game library there since the PS3, so it never made sense to switch sides. This generation in particular sees both consoles in a similar place tech-wise, with the PlayStation in the sales lead, but Xbox having a huge advantage in a few key areas, particularly when it comes to playing across devices and cloud gaming. Simply put, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate costs $15 per month and is one of the best deals ever in the history of gaming. Xbox's cloud gaming service is bigger, better, and less expensive than the top tier of PlayStation's Plus service, and Microsoft's focus on cross-platform PC and console gaming has given it a huge advantage over rivals this generation. It's the current leader in cloud gaming in the United States due to the big names of its catalog, the quality of its service, and its easy integration into the average gamer's life. This is where you'll find Forza, Gears of War, Mass Effect, Halo, Persona, Disney, Flight Simulator, Assassin's Creed, Battlefield, Doom, Dragon Age, Fallout, Mortal Kombat, Star Wars, Elder Scrolls, Walking Dead, Yakuza, and more. This is where AAA big budget gaming lives on the VCS. You'll never see Xbox on PlayStation or PlayStation on Xbox like this, but having Xbox Game Pass Ultimate on the VCS may well mean you don't need a bigger gaming console this generation. The catalog available in Game Pass changes frequently, but at current count has more than 400 titles covering just about everything, although it all falls under the general Xbox-style gaming umbrella, and you aren't getting most brand new blockbusters for free right away. I was able to check out Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for a starter special of $1 for 30 days. It's hard to think of a better bargain ever. Game Pass Ultimate's $5 more per month than Amazon Luna, also on the VCS, but it is a clearly bigger and stronger catalog. Game Pass Ultimate works great on the VCS too, although again you have to have your controllers wired and I noticed unlike the other cloud gaming services, I experienced video streaming quality degradation somewhat regularly. I never experienced this kind of video artifacting on Stadia, Luna, or GeForce. On the plus side, unlike Luna which needs a mouse to get started and GeForce which requires a mouse to navigate, Xbox Cloud Gaming works right away with your controller. You may need a keyboard or mouse depending on where you navigate, especially if you head into other parts of xbox.com. Being able to get the Atari side of the VCS, but also Xbox, Plex, GeForce, Luna, and streaming Google is a huge benefit of the VCS over other consoles on the market. And even if you aren't into the more modern big budget gaming, there's plenty to play. But if you have a younger or gamer relative or child in the house, they'd be thrilled to learn you've got Game Pass on your VCS. It brings big time, big budget gaming to the VCS in a way that wouldn't be able to be here otherwise, or at least look this nicely. Checking out cloud gaming on the VCS in recent months has been an eye-opener. You can have a complete modern gaming experience right here now in Atari OS without the need for a next-gen console and at a fraction of the price. The downsides are a lack of ownership of games and the need to have a solid internet connection that doesn't mind having its floodgate open for hours on end. Your Game Pass Ultimate subscription on the VCS carries over to the PC Game Pass app and web browser-based version of Xbox Cloud Gaming. Head to xbox.com play if you don't want to use the app. However, I ran into an issue where I wasn't able to download PC Game Pass's app from the Windows Store, since it wanted me to subscribe and then wouldn't let me download it because I already had a subscription. I had to download the PC Game Pass app from the Xbox website. There's also an app for Android and iOS. 
Thanks for watching. I'll turn my attention back to direct VCS game releases in the coming weeks with Jeff Minter's Aka R and Caverns of Mars Recharged, among others. 2023 is looking like it'll be a great year in the VCS, and if you want more of these videos, hit like and subscribe. So far, this video puts a wrap on the Atari OS Store cloud gaming offerings, and that puts an end to these kind of videos for now. You can access a lot more, obviously, in Chrome, but I'm keeping this video series to just videos about games and apps that make sense and are listed in the VCS Store. Hope you've enjoyed this look into cloud gaming. Have fun!